Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caroline and you should totally subscribe and join the man fam. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a everyday makeup look tutorial. I'm actually going to be performing tonight singing the national anthem at the University of Texas Longhorn basketball sporting event. That was a handful. This makeup I basically wear every day. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys and hopefully you can get some inspiration. The first thing I'm going to do is pull my hair back just because my hair is pretty long and it can be kind of annoying sometimes. All right, so I also have my caboodle with me, which holds all of my makeup. And whenever I go to sleepovers and such, I typically bring this just because it's really convenient and it carries like everything. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by using my MAC Prep and Prime Spray. I have been using this item for quite a while. I think it's been two years that I've been using it and my mom actually got me this new one for Christmas because I was running out. So thank you so much, mom. So I like to use this before and after my makeup. It kind of just makes my face wide awake and ready for makeup. All right, now I'm gonna open my caboodle. I'm just gonna set this over here. I'm gonna start by going in with my Beauty Counter Plumping and Jasmine Facial Oil. I have been loving this facial oil because my skin is pretty dry. I would say it's more on the dry side than the oily side. Um, total opposite from my hair, which is kind of weird. And this basically just gives my makeup look a dewy effect and it feels very hydrating as well. So definitely love this product. So I get a lot of questions about um, if I have any acne and I actually do not really have acne. The biggest thing that I've had is like one tiny like zit right here, which was in like seventh grade. But um, for the most part, my cheeks are just red usually. I'm not really sure why, but I've never experienced any harsh areas of acne, if that makes any sense. And I have videos which cover my skincare routine, which I will link down below if you guys want to get some insight. All right, now that that is rubbed in, I'm going to go in with some tinted moisturizer. And I have been loving this tinted moisturizer. This company called Willing Beauty sent me a package full of five items and I've been using it for my skincare. I've been loving their skincare line, and they also sent me this tinted moisturizer, and it has SPF 30, which is very important, especially in Texas, because it is hot in here. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Willa Face of the Day SPF 30 Tinted Protection. And then for the brush, I'm just gonna be using a Tarte foundation paddle brush it just helps blend in any like tinted moisturizer or foundation effortlessly and flawlessly so i'm just gonna go ahead and buff that into my skin and if you guys are not already following my socials my instagram which i mostly use is at official caroline manning and i posted recently that i picked up my new macbook pro 13 inch from the apple brand i did an asmr version of it just because i was like you know what why not? And I actually had a lot of fun filming it. All right, now that that is blended out for the most part, I'm gonna go in and do concealer. My favorite product for concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I literally love this thing so much and I've gone through like five bottles of these. So 10 out of 10 recommend. And I'm in the shade medium. Typically I'll just put concealer under my eyes and whatever's left over, I'll like put up here and any other blemishes because I don't want this like top part to look cakey. I really need to get my hair highlighted again because it is growing out so much but it's okay. We need to focus on priorities. Next, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Typically, I always wear my beauty counter bronzer just because the shade is literally perfect for my skin. It's in the shade Surf, but I have been using this like way too much lately and I need to like spread out and use my other products as well. So I'm gonna use this Tarte bronzer. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Um, we're gonna use her and I'm just gonna go in with this bronzing brush Typically, I don't wear bronzer every single day, but for the most part I usually do There's just some days when I get super lazy and I don't feel like putting it on So I'll just end up wearing like highlighter and that's it, but I'm feeling it today So I'm gonna wear it. My mom and dad also got me these earrings for Christmas 
and they are from Pervita and I absolutely love them. They're like waves and they're so adorable. All right, I'm gonna need to redo my ponytail cause it's kind of coming out. Next, I'm gonna go in with some blush. Today, I'm going to be going in with the Beauty Counter Color Sweep Blush Duo. What's really cool about this blush is it actually has two colors, so I kind of like to mix it. Their fluffy brush is literally the perfect blush brush. I just put a little bit on my cheeks and then I'm good to go. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Milk Highlighter Stick. With dewy looks, I tend to reach for this product because it like has dewy written all over it. So this is in the shade Lit. Lit. I love this product, especially on really sunny days because it's not too overwhelming like highlighters. Sometimes it's really subtle and it gives you a really nice glow. So from there... I couldn't just leave it because then that would look pretty silly. So I grab my finger and kind of just go over it. My nose is literally my favorite part because I love the highlighter pop on the nose. All right, and then I wipe the leftover off, which is probably not good, but I don't feel like getting up. I'm not gonna do eyeshadow today. I typically don't even wear eyeshadow anymore. Next, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows. Actually, no, I'm gonna put some lip balm on really quick. I've been using the Willing Beauty XO Lip Oil in the scent Peppermint. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on. For eyebrows today, I'm going to be using my typical product, the Tarte Medium Brown Amazonian Clay Dip Pot. I also have a video up on how I do my eyebrows. That will be linked down below. It's so weird because like every time that I get my eyebrows like waxed, it's almost like they have an allergic reaction. I have no idea why, but there's like red like, it looks like when you get bit by a mosquito if you live in the south and you know what i mean yeah it's so weird i don't know why my eyebrows get inflamed by it i mean it goes down after 10 minutes but it's weird and then it just kind of hurts so we have one eyebrow done and bam that's how i do oh oh my gosh i just spilled it on my bed probably shouldn't be doing this on my bed but it's fine eyebrows are filled in now i'm gonna set them with the benefit brow gel this basically just like locks them in place and tints them even more all right now i'm going to move on to mascara so i'm like really tempted to open my new one in my stocking this year i got the bad gal bang mascara but i can't open it or like typically myself i would open it um, just because it's brand new and I really want to try it out so bad But I can't because I have like 20 mascaras that are open right now and the other ones I don't really use anymore um, But I've been trying my best to finish up the roller lash by benefit before I open a new one Which is very hard for me because I really want to open it up I know I can't because then this one's gonna dry out and I'm gonna forget about it and then it's like a waste of money So I'm just gonna wait. So today I'm gonna go in with the benefit roller lash and I literally wear this every day. It used to be the Benefit Their Real Mascara, but I finished that. So this is my mascara. My eyelashes are so flipping long now. This is without and this is with. Really quick before I get a bunch of comments in the next few days, I just want to let you guys know that if I seem like down because in my morning routine, there was like three people who commented, does Caroline seem different or like not like herself? and I'm down for two reasons. First off, if you guys have been following my YouTube for a while or subscribing, you would know that uh, my friend Ella and I were gonna be going on a trip to Colorado and I was supposed to fly out on New Year's. However, I can't go anymore. That trip has been canceled for me because my grandma had a stroke recently and she's very sick so it just wouldn't be right if i was gone on vacation when we possibly would fly out to go visit her so i'm so sad that i can't go on the trip but at the same time it wouldn't be right if i did just to clear up the air in case y'all wonder why i'm not going to colorado all right so mascara is done and i literally love this already next i'm just going to be putting on some of my lip gloss I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner gloss in the shade Coco K. Oh, oh, in the shade Coco K. And I picked this up from Ulta the other day. Absolutely love it. I flipping love this lip gloss. It's so good. And then the last thing that I'm going to do today is go back in with the MAC Prep and Prime Spray. This sets your makeup, makes it look flawless, and keeps it nicely packed for like 24 hours. It's crazy. So I'm going to go in and spray this. 
I'm gonna take out my hair now show you guys the finished look if you guys like the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you didn't don't do anything i'm so excited to be singing tonight and knowing that my makeup is going to stay on throughout my performance i love y'all so much and i will see you in my next video